Praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachakudash, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, whom this world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai being the name of His only begotten Son, whom this world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and peace and mercy to the house of David, the hopeful elect, those men that are doing this work in sincerity and in truth, across the four corners of the earth, presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice on the highways and byways. And much love to the great multitude out there of you believers, of you Israelites, to you all. I say shalom and greetings and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying through the spirit. All right. So, um, you know, I know a lot of brothers have been covering this. It's been big in the news as of late. And at first I wasn't going to do a lesson on it, uh, but uh, I, I had to look up some things. And after researching, I just through the spirit, I just felt the need to bring this information out. So. When you look, you know, I'm always interested in names and words and things like that. So, you know, the first thing I did was I looked up what does Maui mean? All right. And so I found two different meanings for it. All right. Now, the first meaning, they both are kind of spiritual, but the second one more so. All right. Uh, the first one, it says there he's a the name Maui comes from a, 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 a demigod that they have over there. That's half God, that's half man. <laughs> and. It means trickster. That was the first definition. And I thought that was spiritual because at the end of the day, that's what they try to call our forefather Jacob. And a demigod is essentially somebody who has powers from God, from the God, you know, in the world, in, in Greek and Roman mythology, it's technically like you have a father who's a God, but then they'll like sleep with uh, daughters of men, if you will. You know what I'm saying? And then he had a, uh, he was sleeping with a woman. And then they would create a son and he'd be considered a demigod. But that's not, you know, when you read the scriptures, that's not talking about actual, like, you know, the heavenly father having sex with a, a woman of flesh. That's not what that's going into. You know, you have the Israelites were no were men of renown, you know, especially starting with the apostles and the elders, men of renown sleeping with uh, other heathen nations. Right. Um, so that's what that's going into. But nonetheless, so. The first one said trickster. And I'm like, our forefather's name, Jacob, his name was Jacob, which Jacob is in the Hebrew is Yaiqua, which means supplanter. So they tried to call him a trickster. So this is all like saying the God of the Bible, you know, trickster, you know. And But the second meaning is really the, the one that I'm going for. That really put the, uh, the nail in the coffin for me. But, uh, you know, it's been getting torched out there. People been getting burned. People houses have been getting uh, burned up. Uh, you know, we learned another Hebrew word today, kodach, which means uh, to burn. OK, and, and uh, Maui is uh, is is on Ash is on fire right now. But it's kodach is burning, you know, kawadach uh, to say burning. But kodach, it's a burn right now going over there in Maui. So, um, you know, the first verse I'm going to get is, you know, the one that I was meditating on. This is Isaiah 29 and 6. It says, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord, Yahweh Basham Yahushai, of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and with great noise and storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire, right? So the Lord said, a flame of devouring fire. And as you saw the video, that is devouring them. They said, we're trapped. They can't get out. They're looking for, and now 
you know, sometimes people are a lot about the antics because they recording, but, you know, sometimes things get a little dramatic or theatric where it's hard to believe people. But nonetheless, you see what's going down in there, multiple media outlets, you know, uh, all of this kind of stuff, you know. And uh, so the Heavenly Father said, this is how, you know, Yahweh Shah, this is, one, this is how they visit the earth. You know, this is one of their visitations. So when this, you know, down here in Florida, it's been raining a lot. It's been storming a lot. The humidity has been sky high, you know, but the Lord is judging these different places by the way, these, uh, these weather conditions too. And, you know, Esau might've shot some shit down over there, you know, and did this, you know, got all this fire started. But at the end of the day, everything is the will of the Lord. You know, they could have shot some down. A chariot could have shot some down and got it popping. But e either way it goes, it's still the will of the heavenly father. But he says, uh, with a flame of devouring fire. So that, that flame over there is completely devouring, uh, that, that land. And that's supposed to be a nice, pleasant island. So to what people seek, Oh, I got some other information on that too, but it says, uh, the name Maui means. And so uh, this was on, uh, momjunction.com, right? But it says the name Maui means the God of fire or the name of a Hawaiian demigod. All right, so the God of fire, man, you know, and I, I thought that that was interesting, right? So look what's going down on there, over there, it's burning up, you know, the God of, and the God of fire is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, right? There is no separate gods, there's a God of fire, and then Poseidon is the God of water, like, nah, that don't exist. The Heavenly Father is the Father, he's the God of fire, he's the God of water, he's the God of air, right? And he's the God of humans, he's the God of animals, the God of trees, seas, oceans, you know, skies, whatever it is, you name it. He is one God. And that one God is Yahweh. And his only begotten son, who the world even calls Jesus Christ, is Yahweh Shai. And that's all it is to it. Right? But um, it says he's the God, the God of fire. So hey, Yahweh, he says, uh, he is a he is a that flame. He's gonna be inside that flame, man. That fire that's coming down is gonna burn America. You know, so he's letting you know he is the God of fire. Yahweh is the God of fire. All right. Uh, uh, going down, going to Isaiah 30 and 27, it says, behold, the name of the Lord cometh from far burning with his anger and the burden thereof is heavy. His lips are full of indignation and his tongue as a devouring fire. You see, so we are already starting speaking his word, which is a fire consuming these people. But, you know, soon you're actually going to see thermonuclear missiles coming down on Babylon. The crazy thing is the Lord, Maui, you're not exempt. You're a part of Babylon. You know, you may not be, uh, I always get the word messed up, a contiguous state. Contiguous mean like directly connected to, right? You got uh, Hawaii, Alaska, excuse me, Puerto Rico is technically a territory, but, you know what I'm saying? But those, those are, uh, you know, the 48 contiguous states are, um, you know, all the other 48 states, the ones that are connected, Okay. Uh, but the Lord says, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a devouring fire. This is Isaiah 30 and 30. And the Lord shall cause his glorious voice to be heard. Right. Those 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 chariots, those missiles and shall show the lightning down of his arm, the lighting down of his arm with the indignation of his anger and with the flame of devouring fire with scattering and tempest and hailstones. So the Lord is already showing you a piece of his anger by doing it. And this is really Maui's a prelude. For what's about to happen over there, too. What's about to happen in Babylon? When they shoot missiles, hey, you know, in, uh, in uh, Oahu, I'm not sure if it was in Maui, too, but in Oahu, that's where the brothers are, at, by the way. Um, you know, not to put their business on blast, but, you know, uh, the brothers are safe. You know, Yahweh Bashim al looking over them. So, hey, call out Yahweh Bashim al So, they're on a different island uh, than where this was going down at. The Lord could have easily had this go down on that island. You know, but the Lord let you know, just because you in Maui and just because you over there in the middle of the ocean that you think the Lord can't burn it up. You see, you thought you was free. You thought you was exempt. No, you got to The Lord got to put a reminder on you, let you know you a Babylon. They are Babylonians over there, too. You know. Um, and it's a lot. It'd be a lot of Jake over in them islands. Y'all don't get it confused. Them is not all uh, Japheth and Ammon. You know, in Moab, them, them, it's a lot of Jakes over there, man. It's a lot of Jakes over there, right? So this is Jeremiah 4 and 4. It says, circumcise yourselves to the Lord 
and take away the foreskins of your heart, ye men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem, or are you Israelites, lest my fury come forth like a fire, like fire, and burn that none quench it because of the evil of your doings. doings. And see, that's what the Lord is doing. His fury is coming forth. And you can't quench this. You know, his judgments are coming. You can't put this out. If he want that fire to burn for a week, it's going to burn for a week. And no matter how much water you throw on it, man. Right? Uh, I got a couple other precepts I want to get. But let me let me go ahead and I want to get this because, you know, Maui, like I said, they think they're exempt. Right? But I was looking at I was like, man, you know, let me, let me look up the crime rate over there. You know, because you think it's such a nice place. Is it any crime going on? So I looked something up. This is uh, travelersworldwide.com. It says violent crime only makes up about 8.3% of the crime total, while property crime makes up the remaining 91.7%. The most common violent crime on Maui is assault, which makes up 60.4% of violent crime totals. It is followed by grape, which makes up 41.2% of reported violent crimes. So you got assault, you got uh, grape crimes, Right. Uh, but they said most of them is property crime. So I was like, let me look up what exactly they mean by crap property crime. And guess what? It says among the four major Hawaiian islands, Maui has the highest crime rate. You see, it has the highest crime rate of all the of all the four islands. It has the highest one. So the Lord is judging that place. And they think everything over there. Cool. You know, probably be doing all kinds of stuff, eating abominations, people getting doing each other wrong. You know, so the Lord judging that place, all right? It'll make you think, oh, I don't, I, maybe I don't want to go to uh, Hawaii, man. You know, but it says uh, property crime is a category of crime usually involving private property that includes, among other crimes, burglary, larceny, theft, motor vehicle theft, arson. Yeah, there's some arson going on. Shoplifting and vandalism. Property crime is a crime to obtain money, property, or some other benefit. So you got a whole lot of thieves over there, man. That's basically what it sound like. Most of our crimes are thieves. Burglary, right? You break it and entering, right? Uh, theft. Motor vehicle theft. Arson, you burn it, you going and burning people's stuff down. Shoplifting, that's theft. Vandalism, you, you, you graffiti and putting stuff on people's property. And so, and they want to take it. They, they, it says to obtain money, property, or some other benefit. So most of the time, they over there robbing people, man, for the most part. That's what they're doing. They're robbing people. They think they're getting away with it, and they know them people over there probably got money, you know, and they're going around just robbing people. So the Lord going to gonna judge that too, man. Probably a big tourist area, okay? This is 2nd Edge of 16 and 4. A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? And that fire that that's going to be is going to be them thermonuclear missiles. The Lord just gave Maui an example of what's going to happen with the missiles. They, them don't even compare. You know, and y'all, they thought that that was crazy. They thought that that was wild. But so it says, who who going to be able to quench it, right? Just like they can't put them fires out, man, right? It says, uh, verse 6, many, may any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood, or may any quench the fire in stubble when it has begun to burn, right? Can you can you quench the fire in the stubble when it begun to burn? Hey, man, that thing on takeoff mode, you know? It says, uh... Uh, verse 9, a fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? Right? Once the Lord unleashed, you ain't stopping his wrath. You ain't stopping his anger. If you want that fire to burn, it's going to burn, man. All right? He's the God of fire, man. All right? Um, and see, I was reading something that's talking about how people had to run into the water to escape the fire. And then it was still burning up so then. And I, I thought of this scripture. This is Wisdom of Solomon. Uh, uh, I'll start. I'm gonna read two of them 16 and 17, verses uh, chapter 16, verse 17 says, For which is the most to be wondered at? The fire had more force in the water that quencheth all things, for the Lord fighteth for the righteous, right? Verse uh, chapter 19 and verse 20, the fire had power in the water, forgetting its own virtue, and the water forgot its own quenching nature. So, when you saw, and I've seen that before, you see fire sitting on top of water, so. You got this fire, and they run into the water, and it's still catching their ass, man. It's sitting on top of the water, and you like, did the water, did the fire forget its nurture, nature, its virtue? Did it forget that it, it's supposed to be hot and, you know, not supposed to be put out? It's supposed to be put out by water. Did the did the water forget its quenching nature that is able to dissolve that? 
Right, but when you're dealing with the Heavenly Father, these kind of things get put in front of you. These kind of things change. You know, so the fire now, the for God is virtue, is burning these people up in the water. Right. And uh uh the water is allowing it to go down. You know, but that's because all of that is commanded by Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Okay. All and this is the Lord's will, and all his will shall be done. He wanted that place to burn up. All right, and see, it let left that for an example to let people know it ain't everything ain't all cute and sweet, man. It's gonna go down over there in Maui too. Y'all are not exempt from the judgment, okay? And so I wanted to get this last uh, precept section, um, you know, because that all of that crime rate, all of that stealing, all of that theft, all, all of that, uh, who knows the other things y'all doing? Abominations, everybody's tourists. You know, they probably, it's probably some sea, young, young churn uh, trafficking going down over there. You know, who knows, man, with Esau. Them islands, Esau got a thing with them islands, you know, and doing vile stuff on them, man. Right? Away from people. Okay? And people thinking they not being seen, but the Lord is seeing all of that. Who know what Esau got going down on the Lord? Like, hey, I got to burn it up. Even if Esau did it, something now over there, he don't want to be known, so he going to burn it up. This is 2nd Ezra 16 and 61. It says, He made man and put his heart in the midst of the body and gave him breath, life, and understanding. That's what the Heavenly Father did. Yea, in the spirit of Almighty Yahweh, which made all things, the Almighty Power, which made all things and searcheth out all hidden things in the secrets of the earth, surely he knoweth your inventions and what ye think in your hearts, even them that sin and would hide their sin. So, all you people are over there trying to act like everything is good and hide anything. Hey, man, it's getting revealed. And the Lord is, is showing you that. That's why he burnt that place up like he did. All right. And the Lord is very meticulous with his destruction. You know, he said he chose that place for a reason. OK, it says, uh, therefore, hath the Lord exactly searched out all your works and he will put you all to shame. And when your sins are brought forth, you shall be ashamed before men and your own sins shall be your accusers in that day you see what i'm saying so in that day you, you gonna you gonna know man and the lord is already pulling pulling uh people strings right now showing you what they're really about who they're really for right but these people they don't they don't serve the lord they serve themselves you know i bet you all of the people ain't, ain't, ain't none of them praying to you how about you shot doesn't you know that's another thing and not to my knowledge and i'm not saying that it could be none there i'm not saying it can't be no elect members there but I ain't never seen no uh, GMS Maui page. So them people probably over there so demonic. I don't know that some areas be so through a demonic. The Lord even chose not to put a prophet over there. You know, and you would think that's a, a good thing. One less place we got to worry about. But it's like, damn, like, y'all that terrible. It's nobody here. You know, when you were speaking to Abraham and Lot, you know, Abraham was asking the Lord. He said, peradventure, there be five righteous people. And the Lord like, I'll do it for five. You know, and now... It's like, is it nobody over there that's worth saving? Will the Lord just burn it up without even putting a prophet out there? You know, so it's just something to think about, man. But anything that's going over there, the Lord going to exactly search it out. And he's going to destroy all of those people that's doing that, man. All right, I'm going to just read these last two verses. What will you do or how will you hide your sins before Yahweh and his angels? Behold, the Most High himself is the judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities. To meddle no more with them forever. So shall the Most High lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. So if you people over in Maui, you happen to be an Israelite foreigner, it's time to read your Bible and, and repent. If you are an Israelite, it's time to repent. The Lord judging that place for a reason, right? But he's also giving these people a spectacle for what's about to happen in World War III when the thermonuclear missiles come down to bomb this place. You know, so hey, uh, I'm going to wrap it up with that. Hey, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. I want to give all the praise, the honor, and the glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah Bahasham, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And peace and mercy to the elect. Until next time, Shalom.